are such an asshole! AssholeConsulting.com, we're doing it in the late night, <clears throat> and uh, I went hiking with the talented Mr. Lee, that is my Asian buddy who formerly lived in a Quonset hut, who is a genius architect, and if any of you are looking to have your homes designed by him, not that it's a lot of rich people, uh, but yeah, if you want your nice, fancy heat, Dream home design, that's the guy. Yeah, contact me, I'll contact him. He'll give you a discount for calling me an evil fascist Republican. Anyway, <clears throat> a young lady writes, uh, Hi, Aaron. <clears throat> I apologize in advance because this may be a long one. I am trying to decide what career path to pursue. I'm 21 and female. My ultimate goal right now is to move out of my house and move somewhere up north. I was born up north, and this Florida weather kills me. I, I don't know how it can kill you. Summer I can understand, but other times it's beautiful. Here are the options I'm considering right now in order of preference, honestly. Become a teacher. I generally want to help out kids. Sure you do. Become better adults. And I, if I become a high school teacher, I'd love to be their Aaron Clary and tell them to really think about what they want to do with their lives and not major in stupid shit. All right, I strongly recommend you substitute teach and you become a long-term substitute. Because whereas teaching is fun and easy, dealing with the administration and the bullshit is not. And if you think you're going to tell them the truth, uh, you will have complaints fired against it. Look, you're there to make money and to brainwash the kids into being leftists. That's what your job is. It's not to educate them. And, and tertiary, you are to babysit the children while the parents don't want to have anything to do with them. Um, you could try it. Uh, but before you go down the road again, your degree in education and getting your certification, which sometimes takes another two years, uh, become a substitute teacher first and make sure you want to do that. <clears throat> uh, who knew all my life experiences would pay off in the end? Who knew? I was a great substitute teacher, by the way. The fucking kindergartners loved me. And they did. It's like, it, it was, never mind. That's not you hear that. I'll tell you someday about my kid. If one of you wants to pay me about my kindergarten story, I'll tell you about my kindergarten story. I did get sent to the principal's office as a 27-year-old adult. And I stand by my ground. All right. Uh, not to be annoying that I saved them from being in the position I'm now in with would be worth it. However, <clears throat> teachers don't make a whole lot, and there's no real way to make more as a teacher unless you get a master's. And even then, you don't make that much. Currently, I have no bachelor's, but in planning... Uh, to earn one, and I'm trying to decide what to earn. And my second option is marketing advertising, also worthless. I'm a creative person, sure you are, and I like working with people. You do know how cliche this sounds. Right now, my regular listeners are like preventing themselves from vomiting right now. I'm a people person. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Do you have hustle? You want to learn about marketing? You'll learn more about marketing going and watching Glendon Cameron's show. Watch Glendon Cameron if you're really interested in it. So become a substitute teacher first, and then watch all of Glendon Cameron's videos. All right? And then contact Glendon Cameron, and he'll tell you what I told you, and that's to contact him. He says, you're very smart and contact well, Aaron Clary. Oh, well, because I tell you to do the same thing. Um, but there, you, you know, marketing, you don't need to go to school for that. You just show up at a used car salesman or car lot and say, hey, I'd like to go sell cars. All right. Uh, I have no bachelor's, but am planning to earn one, and I'm trying to decide what to earn one in. What's wrong with my screen? Oh, it's this thing. That's what it is. What the fuck? Hang on. There we go. That's what's throwing it off. <clears throat> I knew I saw something. Uh, my third option is human resources. Are you pick Are you purposely trying to drive my fucking blood pressure up? You're a lazy fuck. Let's just admit it. You're a lazy fuck who doesn't want to do math. Okay? Just just admit that. Uh, my third option is human resources, considering the same pros and cons as marketing. My fourth option is become a programmer. Ding, 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 ding. I took the queen of my IQ test online and got a score of 111. You're capable of it. <clears throat> so you, you've chosen not to do math. That's what it is. You chose not to do math. I earned two CompTIA certifications in nine months. Well, what the fuck, lady? I'm not sure if I have the brain for programming, though. I was never good at the problem-solving aspect of math, and I don't have a strong passion for coding. Oh, too bad. I, no one has a strong passion for coding. Well, some people do. 
I've dipped my toes in some coding languages. I can do most of the coding easily. However, the more difficult exercises in Code Academy sometimes leave me utterly confused and not sure if I have the brain for coding. The idea of solving problems in coding also worries me because, again, I don't think I'm good at it. Dude, you, you, no one, this is, this is something that pisses me off. This is, you want to get me pissed off from zero to, to hero <clears throat> is when I got a buddy or some friend, or some person even, at a bar. And they find out I was a dance instructor. And then the wifey or the girl, oh, I'd love to learn to dance. The guy's like, yeah, I kinda, kinda wanna learn to dance too. I'm like, well, it's not that hard. You know, you're just going, yeah, but I'd be horrible at it. It's like, no fucking shit, moron. You're gonna suck at it. Everybody sucks at it. I mean, think about it this way. I've done about getting into MMA. Oh, really? Yeah, but I think I'd suck at it at first. Well, no shit I'd suck at it at first. You gotta train, you gotta go, you gotta practice, you gotta spar. It's the same thing with that. It's the same thing with coding. You will suck at first. The difference between those who are successful and you like, I don't like the math, I like the is you stop trying and you don't get any better. You don't learn. And then your options are human resources, which is la, la, la. And I'm not talking your boss's dick. I'm talking you're sucking your husband's dick because he'll be making the real money. Or a teacher. Again, la, 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 la. Hope you like majoring or marrying engineers because that's, once again, who's going to be bringing in the real money. And then marketing, where what? You're going to become a real estate agent? You're going to become a realtor? Oh, hey, I ain't got fucking anything else going on in my life, so I'm going to become a realtor. <laughs> sure you will. And just like that, if you want to be good at realty, you want to be good at marketing, you got to try. So you can try things that historically have sucked at paying, or you can fucking try it. Things that are good. And the fact you already have two certifications on the CompTIA indicates to me you at least have some potential, some, uh, 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 for IT and, and, and computer uh, technology. Uh, teach me a problem solve. Da, 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 da. I have no passion for tech either. This concerns me because I'm not motivated to keep learning about coding. My skills won't stay sharp, and I may lose my job to more to date people. Well, what about other areas of IT? Computer networking, computer security. Unfortunately, a lot of these are going to require programming languages anyway. Database, you know, SQL, uh, SAS, SASS, I think it was. What, no, is that SQL or Oracle? Oracle's the dead, whatever. It's been a long time. Um, <coughs> uh, yeah, I. I, I you know, there, there are other fields you can go into in IT that will pay, you know, not as well as programming, but pretty well. Um, me as up-to-date people. If you suggest, well, at least you know that you have to stay up-to-date with your programming skills. Uh, if you suggest I become a programmer despite this, what advice would you give me for the concerns I have raised? Problem solving, lack of passion. I'm good at troubleshooting once I understand whatever I'm troubleshooting, but not much problem solving like the math problems. Last question, what cities up north do you recommend for career opportunities? Sorry for the long email and frustration you get dealing with me. Please leave this video so it can help other people. Thanks. All right, hang on, let me check something. Okay, good, the fan's not going on. That's where if you've heard that one, but. All right, look, here's the deal, dude. I know you've been told this the opposite because you're an American and, and you've probably been told this more often than men have, but because you're a woman. All jobs suck. Your life happiness will not be determined by your job. Your job is where you go to work to do things you don't like. That's why they pay you. And then you get the little checky thing. Now they have it all deposited, direct deposited. And then you live your life. Work is not your life. Men are slowly figuring this out. Not, not so, but we're ahead of the curve. Kind of like the worthless education bubble. We're ahead of that curve. Uh, women are not. You girls, you had sold the biggest crap of goods ever about thinking that work is supposed to be rewarding. It is not. The sooner you fucking realize that and realize it is family, friends, and loved ones, and if you have them children that are the true rewards in life, th then you'll actually be happy, right? So it, ultimately, it really doesn't matter because I got news for you. All jobs suck. 
So if they're all going to suck, you might as well get it highly paid for them. All right? Now that means programming. Suck it up. Figure out your problems. I think you're a little soft. I don't think you've ever actually challenged yourself. If you want, like, And the reason why is your first three options are those for lazy fucking people who've never tried. You claim not to be good at math, but you have a very good IQ. No, no, no. You haven't tried. Okay? Yeah, to me, it's moot. It's not whether you like the feel. So I'm recommending the programming or at least something in IT because it pays better. And yeah, you know what? You're going to have to stay on top of your skills because, once again, say it with me, all jobs suck. Okay? If you ever think, well, I just feel all jobs suck. Or I saw Stefan Molyneux go, they suck. Uh, so if you're going to spend the time, don't, don't bother going to school for human resources. Don't bother going to school for marketing. Uh, marketing, you can just go and try and be a salesman. That's something you can do on your own, and they, they don't give a flying fuck if you have a degree. If you can make it rain and sell shit, they'll hire you. All right? So that's what <clears throat> Human resources, if you want to be, and what I think is going to be a dying industry, I could be completely wrong, but I think human resources is on the way out. Finally, after I told society 20 fucking years ago to do it, um, I would, uh, there was that. And then your other one, what was it? Oh, becoming a teacher. That would be your second most viable option. Uh, just admit, it's a lazy fucking job. It's not a real job. You're only working a part-time gig. Don't you dare get the attitude that you're doing something selfless and, and altruistic for society. And I do appreciate you wanting to help out the kids. That's good. But um, just don't expect to be challenged at all. And And like I said become a long-term substitute first to figure out if it's not so much the kids. I've really never had that much problem with the kids. It's the, it's the staff and administration. I keep fucking, like I said before, I got sent to the principal's office just as much being a substitute teacher as I did when I was a kid. Uh, and it's because, frankly, you know, teachers suck. But you want to talk about people who really suck and are really fucking stupid and get by with their certifications and accreditations and not their brains or their intelligence or the ability? Fucking management. Fucking VPs and the actual principal and diversity directors and counselors and all who Lord knows what else uh, of fat they have in overhead. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be dealing with that in the state. So I would strongly recommend you figure that out. But it's still your second best choice because it's easy and it pays and you get your fucking undeserved Fringe benefits. Um, but yeah, man, the number one thing would be to go and become a programmer. All right? And, and just get it out of your head that you think there's some magic unicorn. Like here, I'd like there to be a girl who's thin, in IT, doesn't have tattoos or uncommon piercings, and doesn't have another man's child. And what else? <clears throat> I think those are the four things. No tats, no other man's children. Oh, no divorce. And then whatever the fourth thing was. It's impossible to find. You would think it would exist out there, just like you'd think there'd be a job out there that makes you happy. It does not exist. So stop fucking trying to find it. Northern towns to live in. <clears throat> You're really limiting yourself because most of the states without income taxes are in the south. And I know maybe you like the north. If you really want to go up north and you really want to low have, have low income taxes, Alaska. They pay you to fucking live. Otherwise, South Dakota has no state income taxes. <clears throat> Wyoming, I do not advise living there. I really don't, unless you're in Jackson. Or you really like that kind of culture. Uh, and I do mean the syphilis, herpes, gonosyphilis, as Terrence Pop says. Um, <clears throat> there, there are merely small pockets of Wyoming that are okay. Uh and then I'm trying to think north. I'm, north, I mean north of the Mason-Dixon line. If, if Tennessee's a little bit north enough for you, they just got rid of their local income taxes, that's good. Washington State has no income taxes. Otherwise, if you want relatively low taxes, you're still going to pay state income tax. Idaho, Montana, North Dakota's very north. Um, <clears throat> relatively low taxes, you still have an income tax. I very much like Colorado, even though they are leftist. Uh, I love Denver. I love the mountains. Live on the west side of Denver so you can access the mountains because on the east side is fucking Nebraska, and there's nothing fucking over there. Uh, Vegas isn't north. If you can't handle the heat in Florida, you're not going to like that. You might like Reno, but it's still going to be pretty warm during summer. 
Uh, yeah, the North sucks, man. The North, there's not many places I'd recommend. Um, I mean, read Reconnaissance, man. If you want, just read the last chapter. Read chapter six, because I go through it method, uh, methodologically. I go through it methodically. Thank you. I go through it very methodically, whittling down what states you should even consider giving your time and, and part of your life. Um, but beyond that, if it's not... If it's not in the South, you're eliminating Texas, you're eliminating Florida, you're eliminating Tennessee, you're eliminating Las Vegas, which is pretty much the only place to live in Nevada, and um, yeah, you're left with North Dakota, I'm sorry, you're left with South Dakota, and Washington State, <laughs> and Alaska, I'm sorry, there's Alaska too, if you, which is fine, Alaska, it's beautiful during summer for those two weeks. Um, anyway, hope that helps out, stop being a whiny cunt. Kick some ass and become an upstanding individual. That's all we got. Toodles.